name is Bruno Flavin. and I'm going to present you today in this video tutorial a toolbox uh, for deep learning based on TensorFlow named Ludwig and we're going to go through uh, I invite you to read because the site is website is very well known and it's um, promoted by um, and that's Uber who is behind this Uber technology and you have a lot of examples so we're going to just do the first example and we're going to dive quickly into the stuff so uh, what is important to know is that Ludwig requires CSV file like in many um, deep learning mo deep learning model you need to have a huge amount of data so the, the biggest the most difficult part was to find a great uh, I mean a quite a good amount of CSV and then you define your, mo your data model into encoding YAML it's a declarative way of uh, doing the model so one of the main advantage, and I'm going to focus on that, is that there is no coding required. So, like I said, it's a deep learning exp experimentation toolbox based on TensorFlow. Okay, I will give you all this area where, where we can find the source and some code. Here is the name, one of the name of the founders. You're going to have a collab too online, and this is the official website. So, yeah, I won't go into the installation. It requires Python. You can use Virtual F to manage the environment. What I'm going to, just going to show you, and you install it with pip. What I'm going to show you is that it's really installed right here because you see if I type help, I got all the command. So what we need, I'm going to clear my console. What we need is that we need to have few examples. So this one will be the training and this one will be used for, for um, predict. This one is for further, I mean, future usage. I will show you how you can work with the API. And if you want to kind of automatize, you can make some shell script. And this is a data model. So basically, if I go into the documentation, I have already my CSV and I have my YAML. Okay, and the YAML is down just down here. So let's try right now. So I'm going to put it here. So there is no training for the moment. And we're going to go through uh, this little command so train is to train the model you have different common experiment visualize and predict and we go go quickly to train and experiment visualize that's interesting because it gives you statistics about your model that you're currently working you have other comments that's what you saw uh, when i was typing uh, the help anyway so let's start right now so what i'm going to show you is the emdb the train stuff is here Okay, you can even, I'm using sometime also uh, visual code because that was sublime before and visual code can help you to look, you see, you have sentiment review and you can edit as a CSV, there's plugin. So we have a small amount of data because I think I'm almost at 400. Yeah, and you will find all this data and all the code. Uh, on my GitHub account, so you have 400, 400, more than 400, and you have negative and positive. Okay, uh, it's the um, it's review from uh, EMDB. Okay, so uh, that's the same, and you have the model. We will take the example. Okay, so here we go. Uh, you see that I've put review and movie sentiment. So you need what you need to know is that it's very simple you need to have the first column that will be corresponding to the first here as an input and the output because you're testing this second column called class so for instance right now is not going to work because i need to put movie review that would be movie review and that would be movie sentiment which is movie sentiment Okay, I can I can even say movie comment. No, let's say movie sentiment and here movie comment. And then I would do here movie comment. Okay, so we will use the parallel CNN. And we have an epoch. An epoch is, um, well, when you have a, a, a a big amount of data, you, they are split in batch. One epoch is when all the data set go backward and forward through the uh, neural network. 
So if you define, it's not, it's not much. I mean, six, that's very, there's the, there's the, there's the early stop in the Ludwig that go to five, but I want to go quicker on this video. And for sure, you should be around 100 because the more you put some epochs, the better it is for your model, okay? And the more you have a data frame, a huge data frame, the better it is for your model. But right now, it's just for a demo. It's just to see how quickly you can jot some element and create your own model, okay? So let's do it. I'm gonna go, so I'm here. And you see there's only this, this, um, this file and I can show you that there is only this file. So we're gonna launch the, the experiment right here. So this is the way, and you see there's no, they're all at the, at the same level. So I don't need to have any, uh, there's no directory like saying source or, you know, source and then model, but you can use subdirectory if you want, okay? But right now I'm on the very first. So let's launch it. So it's gonna launch and it's gonna give you and create some explanation. You see, I think it will start. So it's, uh, I have a MacBook Pro, which is a very basic one, and it should take not much time. So experiment is a kind of, that would give you a lot of information you see, and it's creating some element right now. You have HD5 and a meta JSON. Okay, so meta JSON, say, is running the epoch right now, and you have well, like I said, you have epoch equal to six and early stop at five, and then it goes through, and you have the accuracy, the loss, and all the stuff that are required by the um, neural network. Okay, and then it will go through the six epoch. And in your file, you will have the meta JSON, which is the information, and right here in the HDF5, HDF5, that will be the data. Okay, so it takes it's really quick when you have only small epoch, but the more you do, uh, like I said, the more you put some epochs, the better it is. Okay, but it gives you, I mean, what is interesting with Ludwig is that with no particular knowledge of uh, data science, you can, uh, you can work and you can discover and try your first and, 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 try and make try on your first model. So you have the first result, the first run is here, okay, and it has create these, and you have the model, you have everything, and you have also the prediction, okay? And it's not training. And if you run again this common, it will go like this. You will have run zero, then run one. It will increment the number of uh, directories, okay? <coughs> so for the moment, I'm still using the mod this model definition, and I'm gonna make the prediction, so uh, I'm going to make the training first. Yeah, then lo let's launch the training. That's exactly the same uh, command with experiment, but right now we use train. And this time we're going to generate the model. Let's see. And it's going to go in uh, experiment run underscore one. Okay. And then we will do some visualization. Okay. So I can make visualization of the first if I want. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open a new, and you see, I can make the visualization of the first run. So it should be somewhere, it's coming. Yeah, there we go. You see the learning curve. So you have the seven, six epochs, sorry. And right here, the loss, so that Lots. And you have second one, accuracy, epoch. So you have the loss first, and then the accuracy, and then the learning curve movie sentiment with the eat at K, or with the epoch. Okay, and you're done. And also you have the learning curves, yes, that's the, with the loss. Again, I think that's all. Okay, that's all. 
so C the other is doing so we we so we we're increasing you see we're starting from five we're starting at one and then five and we have the loss percentage and it's gonna stop so we're gonna trace we're gonna we this time you see run zero so we have the result that is in run zero and we're gonna try this model we to predict okay so I don't I will not show you the visualization because you saw the visualization for the first experiment and this time we're going to predict so if you see I'm going to take this one you see ah, so I need to change as I've made as I've made the sorry what is that to train example as I'm a movie sentiment movie comment I need to have exactly the same, uh, the same movie sentiment, movie sentiment, movie sentiment, and movie comment. Okay, movie comment, and movie comment. Okay, we're good. So right now, I have a certain amount. So basically, I have positive, 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 positive negative 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 so the three last are negative and the four first are positive okay and that's exactly the same for the predict one but i'm gonna launch on the, you have positive 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 and then negative 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 but i've i've slightly changed from one to two and i will start with one you see, I'm just seeing this one. Yeah, that's the correct one. I keep the I keep the and I will launch the try. So what he's gonna do is gonna use the first experiment, okay? And he's gonna he's gonna create, and he's gonna create the prediction. He's gonna show me the prediction to see if it's positive or negative. So I'm running the model against my first uh, data, my first CSV file. Okay. So it doesn't matter there's an error every time you got this error but it doesn't matter so right now you can check so it's been training here and it should be here you see negative 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 so the three positive are not working so this model is not really cool and it doesn't pretty well it doesn't you cannot play the seer in a way with this uh, model so i need to change the model and to improve maybe uh the the search okay so we're going to create a new model so we have definition one, I'm going to say this one is done and I'm going to do the second one, okay, which is much more complex and you can find, let me see, that's here, you have much more explanation and it's give, it was given by the presentation of Pietro, here we go where you have all the elements and the parameters that you can use for a CNN encoder, okay? So you fine-tune the model and you declare it in the YAML, okay? And we will run also six epochs, so we will do the same, and we will see if it pairs on. We use the same data sample, we use the same data set, which is the train I already show you, except that I need to ensure that it's not review and sentiment it's like for this one it's movie comment instead of review because that's remember my first column my second column and i'm testing the movie sentiment 
okay and this time I can run the stuff so I give a chance to do that so the epoch will so remember uh, the epoch is when all it goes all the the data for instance if you have uh, let's say if you have 42,000 records in your data sample in your in your uh, data set and you say that a uh, the batch is uh, about 600 then you will need no I don't know I'll just show you I'm pretty bad in calculation I think I've noted down somewhere uh, yeah, 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 this is it. Suppose we have a data set of 40,000 training example and we divide into a batch of 600. To complete one epoch, it will have, it will take 70. So that means 40,000 divided by 600. Okay, iteration. So here is some explanation and it will be in the article that I'm about to release. Uh, you have the definition of a batch. What is the deep learning? That's all notion that you need to know about deep learning, but it's pretty easy. I bet, I mean, as far as I know, you're guessing. Uh, this is statistics mostly, and it's really easy to guess uh, what are the explanation. Okay, to have a rough idea, and that's what given you. That's really what uh, Ludwig has given you. I think I'm going to stop the video because it takes much more time. And I would come back after, after all the epochs have been done, and we will try to see uh, if our model is working. Okay? So see you in a minute.